What's up guys, I'm Mike Lucid and we are here to look at another game, this one on the Nintendo Switch. Um, I'm excited to continue doing gaming content here on this channel, uh, I plan to do a lot more going into the future as we start to really pump into some content to the YouTube channel. So, if you are new here, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button as we will be pumping out all kinds of content, gaming related, and maybe also some collectibles and Pokemon card videos, we'll see what happens in the future. So, without further ado, we are here to talk about Guardian Tales. This is a free-to-play game on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, I believe this game is also available on mobile. I'm super excited to dive into this game. Let's take a look at it. From Kong Studios. This game is Guardian Tales. Uh, I think it's a really, really awesome game. I had a wonderful time playing it. Uh, I love the, the animation, the art style, the music. Uh, uh, I didn't know anything about this game until I saw uh, saw my boy RGT85 do a video on this game. Uh, I'll leave a link to his video. It's fantastic and goes into a lot more detail. I uh, love that guy. I love Sean. But yeah, this is Guardian Tales. I didn't know anything about it, so I had to talk about it myself. The art style is great. I kind of love the... Uh, the kind of retro-esque um, aesthetic with the characters and the, the environments are very well done. Um, it doesn't it doesn't feel like a free-to-play game. Um, you get your sword uh, at the beginning. And basically, the tutorial stage is really fun. Uh, it goes through everything, basically showing you how it goes. Uh, I, I didn't really get the Zelda vibes here, but I did get them later on. Uh, but just basic, uh, your basic hack and slash action right here. I just, I just think this is a really fun game. The combat is really well done. Uh, you do get different abilities and stuff as you go on throughout the game. I, I just think it's, it's really, really worth your time. If you're looking for a game to play, uh, just kind of, if you're into Legend of Zelda, if you're into dungeon crawlers, if you think this is something that you could be into, I definitely say give it a shot. You get so many no people. Yeah, and this game does have a battle pass. Um, in this game, it's called the Guardian Pass. Which, you know, all these free-to-play games, that's expected of nowadays. And hey, they gotta make their money too. So, we can't complain about that. Guardian Pass is pretty generous. Uh, it has a free side and a paid side. Um, I will say, I'll give this game credit. Uh, the free side is actually fairly generous. It gives you a lot of stuff. Um, then there's a lot of puzzles. There's a lot of puzzles in this game. This this stage here, uh, the first stage of the actual game, is where I started to get some of the Zelda vibes. Uh, both from the color, the camera angles, obviously, it started to really kick in. And then, then getting to do the puzzles. Um, like having to grab this freaking torch. And this isn't even where I was supposed to go. I, I've just been playing video games all my damn life. And I saw this and I was like, hey, I gotta do some backtracking and check this out. And I ended up getting some really cool knight armor. So it's nice that this game kind of has those hidden th hidden secrets. Um, it really feels like a throwback um, for us older people. Me, I'm in my 30s, but it at the same time it does feel it does feel like a mobile game on Switch, which that's not a knock on the game. That's not bad. Um, there are some mobile games that I wish I could play on my Switch. I wish there was a Google Play launcher on Switch. That would be phenomenal. I wish they could make that work. I mean, there are games I would love to play. Like, hell, I've been playing a lot of Kingdom Rush lately. I don't know about y'all, but I really enjoy that game series. You get different abilities throughout. Like, right here, I had this little drill thing that I could get through these rocks, which I thought was great. Um, I think the story is, it's there. It kind of exists, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not in incredibly invested in the story of this game, but that's okay. Uh, I'm sure it's a good one. I'm sure if I actually paid attention to what was going on, it'd be a good story. But I'm just enjoying the gameplay itself. Um, I, I think it's really fun. You got these, you know, these, these puzzles. You got these boss fights. Like I, I don't know. I, I I would rate this game very highly if I did game reviews. But I don't I don't do gaming reviews. I'm more or less just here to talk about whether I think this game is worth your money or worth your time. And as a free to play game on the Nintendo Switch. I think so. It's got that charm. Uh, I love the way they do the characters, because um, there's so many characters you can have in this game. So many different characters, and they, you get them, and, you know, your loot boxes, your loot boxes. Um, but they come as little action figures, which I think is really, really dope. I think that's really pretty. 
it's got a nice charm to it. You have your, you know, your crappy ones, and you have your, your, your super rares, and then your super, super rares, or whatever the SSR stands for. But then, like, uh, like right here, when you get the SSR, it's got, like, uh, it shows you the options that you could potentially get. I like this little, like, uh, it's like a little award show, which I think is pretty cute. And then you get your character. And I definitely think there's a little fan service in this game. Um, if, if that was a negative, I, I don't know if I want to put that as a negative, because it's not really a negative. It's just, just the art style and art direction they're going with. I mean, hey, they gotta get their money, too. But there's definitely some fan service, and if you're not a fan of that kind of gameplay or that kind of art style, this might that might turn you off on this. But to me, it doesn't really bother me. It's it, it's just there. Um, I have nothing against it. But I just I definitely think that this game is really well done. Uh, kudos to Kong Studios and everybody that's participated in this game. From what I understand, this game has been out for a while on mobile, um, and they are just now getting to release on the Nintendo Switch uh, this month in August, which I, I think that's great for them. I hope um, them launching on the Nintendo Switch has brought some life to this game, and I hope it's brought um, uh, a wave of new new players into this game. I think it's a really, really interesting game. You also get your items. Uh, there's tons and tons of weapons in this game and cosmetics, and you get those... Um, Again, like the, the, the characters you get, they're, they're like action figures. But these, um, they're just like accessories. And I, I, I love that toy aesthetic um, with the, the art style in this game. And I don't know. I really enjoyed Guardian Tales. Uh, I could see myself playing this off and on uh, as time goes on. Hell, maybe I'll even stream it if I feel like it. It could be something fun. Uh, you can get a guild. So you can have like a group of people together. And that could be pretty fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm really, really curious to see what you guys think in the comments about this game. That is Guardian Tales on the Nintendo Switch. Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. Uh, help us grow this channel a little bit more. We are chasing 1,000 subscribers by hopefully mid-next year. Um, I do have plans to hopefully do some streams over here on YouTube as well as I have plans to diversify my content both on other platforms and here. So any help with that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this video or and what you think of this game. Do you think it's a nice game? Is it something that you would play? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to talk about it. Until then, thank you guys for checking out this video. See you soon.